Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out a video of KZ Tandingan performing a Chinese song in the show Singer 2018. As you all know, this is a show in China where professional singers compete against each other. So before we get into the video, I am inviting everyone to please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. At the same time, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Few. Since this video is originally from a huge TV network in China, I will be altering it a bit to avoid potential copyright issues which may cause this video to be blocked. So I have to apologize in advance. To those who wish to enjoy the full video without any alteration, without any interruptions, without my comments, please head to my description box and you will find the original video link there. Because, as always, I will be pausing in between to give my honest observations and comments. Another option is you can check out the original video first before coming back to this one for my comments. Without further ado, let's begin. To my non-Filipino Max Tubers out there, KZ Tandingan is a very popular singer in the Philippines and she is widely known for her artistry as well as for her soulful singing. So I hope she brings uh, the same soulfulness into this performance uh, despite being in a language that she doesn't speak. The English translation was provided by the channel of David Tanaka. So hopefully, uh, this would help our non-Chinese viewers out there to better understand what KZ is singing. Thank you to David Tanaka. By the way, I'm not exactly sure why the title says The Hurt You Never Knew. Because the title of this song is Ni Haya Wo Zen Yang, which translates to what else do you want me to do? Or what else do you want from me? But anyways, let's go back to the video. Wow, as someone who speaks Mandarin Chinese, I am very impressed by her diction. It's quite good. What a pleasant surprise. So far, I can fully understand all the words without even looking at the lyrics on screen. Beautiful delivery, just beautiful. And to think we are just at the beginning of the song. She was definitely setting the tone for her entire performance. 
guess she will be taking us on an emotional ride with the song. Also, her voice is just so wonderful to the ears. Let's go back. Okay, this is actually a different song. A different song from the one she sang earlier. So I guess this is a medley. By the way, this song is called Hai Yin Yin Zuo Tong, which roughly means it is still painful. Again, a reminder to everyone who is watching right now, if you do not like a lot of pauses in between, like I said earlier, you can check out the original video and the link is provided in the description box, okay? <laughs> Her riffs are very subtle but very pleasant. Her voice extremely soothing yet full of emotions. Lovely, just lovely. And I really cannot get over how accurate her diction is. She has definitely put in a lot of hard work to be able to enunciate the words the way she did. Pretty amazing. The beauty of her rendition here is how she is trying to keep everything in. It's like she is about to cry, but she's trying very hard not to. And it really feels like she's talking to the person who broke her heart. It's so sad. Let's go back to the clip. That was perfect, simply perfect. She's wearing her emotions on her sleeve in this song. I can hear the vulnerability in her voice and I'm sure you can too. From the technical point of view, it takes a ton of vocal control to be able to make your voice sound like it's almost about to crack. But obviously, you cannot let it crack. Otherwise, um, that crack might be a point against her. So she was able to come up with a good balance. It's not only in her voice, it's also in her facial expression, her body language, her overall demeanor. As I look at her, the pain feels so genuine to the point that it doesn't feel like a performance anymore. Moving on. Loving the way she added those ad-libs, understated, but sound really nice and necessary. 
KZ has a voice quality that is very unique and distinct. She doesn't sound generic, if you get what I mean. When she sings, you'll know it's her. Give her any song and she can make it her own, like the way she's doing with these two songs. Do you know how hard it is to learn a song in a foreign language? And she learned two. Two for this performance. I wonder how much time they gave her for this. If you guys know the answer, please comment down below. Because if I will rate her enunciation from 1 to 10, I'll give her a 9.5. Not a 9, not an 8, a 9.5. Because the ones she did not pronounce accurately were so negligible. In fact, if you ask me, she's enunciating the words way better than a lot of Chinois I know. And I'm talking about Chinois who went to Chinese schools. Impressive. She is a very expressive singer, which I believe all singers should be. I've said this several times. We sing to express, not to impress. So if you notice, she wasn't belting really high or anything, but that's fine because she is getting the emotions across. That's what's important. I'd rather listen to her than to some singer belting out the highest of notes without any emotional substance. Let's go back to the clip. Can you guys hear the restraint in her voice? It's like she's almost about to burst into tears. People say, people say that music is a universal language, but I say only if you are doing it effectively. And she is definitely doing it right. These are great songs to start out with. But her delivery, her delivery just made them even better. You know someone is doing an awesome job if she is able to move her listeners to tears. She's tapping into their emotions. She's connecting to them on an emotional level. Oh God, that is so darn good. The way she suddenly changed her dynamics and shifted to her falsetto and now building up, building up her emotions. She's not just singing the song. She's feeling the song. And can you just look at her body language? She's shaking with overwhelming emotions. Whew.
I adore her. I just do. She is one of the few who can cover a song and make it sound her own, and kind of makes you forget that it is a cover. And I really believe it is safe to say that Casey's delivery is actually even more emotionally charged than the original versions of both songs. I hope you guys get a chance to listen to the original versions. And you'll know I'm speaking the truth. Also, the overall arrangement they did for this medley was also more heartfelt and dramatic, which I'm digging a lot. Let's go back. That was so beautiful. Everything was perfect. Technical delivery, emotional delivery, voice quality, everything was on point. I can't even find anything bad to say about this performance. This has got to be one of the most heartfelt performances I have ever seen so far from any artist. It's very understated, yet packed with emotions. It just feels so genuine. As I've said earlier, KZ has always been known as an expressive singer, and she certainly did not. Disappoint. So, what do you folks think of Casey's performance? Were you moved by it? Please let me know down at the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. With that, I thank everyone for watching, and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Stay safe and happy everyone. See you again next time.